Hello everybody! Welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to paint this beautiful acorn picture. The reference picture I picked from Pixabay and I picked this painting uh, because the fall is already around the corner and everybody is ready to decorate their houses with beautiful fall colors. I painted this painting on 8 by 10 canvas but you can paint coasters for your home so for that you can pick these uh, wood panels that is available in uh, Michaels or you can upcycle your emptied salt container you can paint on that so are you ready burnt umber on the top and a little bit of raw umber and a little bit of white part is going to be darker and inner is going to be a little bit brighter. I took raw sienna to make it a little lighter here and I really like the combination of this color. That look really good. I added a little bit of yellow. the color later and that takes more time if your background is a little bit different than this it's totally fine if you want to use different color combination for the background that is completely okay
matching the color on the side of my canvas. Just randomly put 
beautiful. Depends on you how many you want. some very bright circles just to show some layering there completely optional if you don't want to make those circles that's okay it's just another technique that I'm adding to my painting tutorial today again it's just totally optional you can just have your very plain background and you can make it should always do the background first whatever is in the back side it has to be done first and it can come forward after that I'm covering that with white paint because our background is so dark, if I paint right after that, right, uh, its color on that, it will not show the right color. So I'm painting it all white. will take more of your time putting your background uniformly and they lose the connection uh, in the back the, the color shading should be should match it should look connected that's why 
it's always a good idea that you do the background if your stops are small then definitely you have to first do the background and then you can do your the the, the object of the picture ultramarine blue paint and mixing that color together it really gives a nice green is not dry then you should not go and do the next layer your first layer should nicely be dry then only you can do the next layer But I'm going to go over this part because it still have oh nice it's not nicely layered in the size so I'm gonna go over when it is dried. So by the okay, I let that dry for a moment and I'm gonna go over this part. shade on the side 
the top part of this you need white and rose yarn so I'm doing this for the bottom side I'm adding a little bit of yellow and white so I'm making this side the right hand side bright shade this side and bring it now for my leaf should always remember that you, your direction of painting is also very important in this one you should not paint just like that you should not uh, you should paint it this way because their veins have a direction and they will go this way so
you are learning and the good thing about acrylic painting is that it can really fix your mistake so you can just pick the color like that really good. I'm going to add a little bit of dark shade on the side. Especially on the left side because that is the, the part where all the shadow is coming and all my light sources on the right hand side.
good. You can leave it here. I can make a little bit shiny on the painting side. Thank you. 